Greetings everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Road to 56, a mod I've not played in quite a while, regardless. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, uh, but the mods we're using before we get too started into this are Road to 56, State Transfer Tool Mod, Player Lab Peace Conferences, and Colored Events. Only four mods, and as you can see, we already just, we're going to go straight and straight on into the campaign. I've already set up a couple things here, and we're going to try to use paratroopers against the French, and we'll see how that goes. Regardless, let's start with the Land Doctrine. Uh, we're going down Grand Battle Plan. Is that worth it? Max Planning, Defense Organization, uh, Infiltration, hmm, Less Supply, Less More, do, 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 do. Recon does get more Recon, I kind of like that. Well, you know what, we're already going down this way, but actually, since we're using Road to 56, uh, we do have a unique focus tree, so, and definitely better than Vanilla Holy Four. We can lead the League of the Nations, which is historical, or do royal intervention, have a civil war. I'm not really interested in having a civil war. We will eventually militarize the Rome Protocols eventually, so we shall see about that. Revive the stress up front would be interesting. And we'll talk about a few more things in just a little bit more mobilization speed, daily command power. I kind of want to get that daily command power. Ooh, kid go superior firepower, maintain the three branches independence. Not bad. Focus on firepower. Ar more artillery, artillery, artillery. I kind of want to go mobile warfare as Italy. But we were going down this way, get more entrenchment, get more defense. Let's go with restructure of the divisions. Infantry divisions must be changed from a tripartite constitution to a bipartite comp composition, allowing them to be more manageable, more mobile, and therefore more adaptive to the to the movement wars. And we shall finish with eh, going down Grand Battle Plan. As you see, we've already set up these guys already, and I've already organized our navies up, and we're already at war with Ethiopia. Go figure. What else is new? Italians in Ethiopia? Ah, ah time-honored tradition. Uh, so, let's see, some mods that we're currently using, oh, we already said that, I already said what we're using, but we're on a historical because I would like to do this decision, Realize Roman Ambitions, because actually someone did recommend in my Discord server for me to play as Italy in Road to 56, and here we are. So, we will eventually realize Roman Ambitions, in which it is going to be my goal to kill off the French as fast as possible. We'll see what happens, and actually, we gotta get how much political power, since I will just manually just fight on them anyways, so... And let time go on. How much will it take? Well, we're going to need quite a bit more political power, so we got to save up every single little bit. In which, we're, of course, doing this one first. Whatever. And we're attacking Ethiopians, but you know what? It wouldn't be Italy if you weren't attacking them. And you guys are heading in too. These guys are looking pretty darn weak. We should do relatively okay. Maybe not perfectly, but relatively okay. You guys can go and do that too. There you go. Good luck. We're running out of fuel. Whatever. We'll have the Ethiopians done eventually, so I'm not really too worried about that. There are strategies in how you could best do this. I will go ahead and just puppet Ethiopia so we don't have to do the resistance. We get their manpower. Good stuff like that, you know. Uh, anything else? Let's see. Oh, because we're using Rota 56, I have enabled it. So basically, every single nation in the game that is possible will be randomized. We're on a historical as well as completely random. So what happens to Germany, the UK, France... China, Japan, America, I have no idea what's going to happen. And sometimes I like to play it that way just to see what happens. Just because it doesn't make too much sense to keep it on historical if we're trying to re-resurrect the Roman Empire. So, uh, anything around here? We could abandon the naval treaties. Yeah, we probably will. But we got to save our political power up as fast as possible. Actually, how much more do we need? Because we got to jump, jump, jump at the gun. And actually, they are allied with the Polish, which might actually be a little bit of a problem for us. Hmm. Which might put us at war with the Allies much earlier than I anticipated. But, because you guys are guaranteed by the... Actually, Romanians. Oh, guaranteeing the independence of the Romanians. If we go to war with Poland... Oh, well, that could be bad. That looks like... Well, looks like Germany's going down uh, the Mr. Schmittler path. Alright. Well, maybe we'll go to war with Poland early. Who knows? Maybe it'll be both of us fighting together. Or alongside each other. Not really fighting together. But fighting to eliminate the Polish nation. We'll see what happens. Now we're not winning here, I don't really care. My goal is just take, I just, ah, bah, bah, as fast as possible. And maybe we should justify on the French. Now, this is not going to be any sort of guide on how to do stuff. But my goal is just to go to war as fast as possible and do okay. Alright, next up, backbone of the party. Ooh, get more political power. And the army's corruption. Ooh, kind of like both. Reshuffle the officer corps, bloated bureaucracy, more attacks due to the Spanish Civil War. Extend officers' autonomy, which is not bad, or... Adapt Great War Tactics, which looks not too bad. High Command Loyalty. I kind of like that. Focus on Mobilization. You get 2% more recruitable population and Pride of the Nation. I've got to go this way. i got to get more population. So, because Italy does not have a massive population. Colonial Investments might not be bad. Uh, ooh, Civilian Factory. It's only one, though. 
Regis Mariana. Let's go with Lee, Lee the League of Nations. The League of Nations, whose inability is no longer to be proven, has nevertheless seen fit to condemn our invasion of Ethiopia. We do not need the support of, or confirmation of the latter to know what is good for Italy, and we should therefore leave it. So, in addition, we're trying to get more guns, we're trying to build some fighters, support equipment, dive bombers, and, yeah, transport planes will be necessary for a pair dropping into France. I don't even really care about this war. We're gonna, we've only lost 1,000, that's not bad. We've only lost 11,000, but whatever. Once we have them, they'll be gone for good, hopefully. Yeah, we're just doing it like this just because they're not that strong. I mean, you see you see their strength level. It's really bad. It's really horrendously bad. So, uh, actually, I remember years ago, I was planning on doing this. Uh, playing as Ethiopia, trying to beat up the Italians. And it's, it's completely possible. I've done it before. But, hey, there we go. Nice. Great news. Uh... But I decided against it just because I wanted to get to other things. So, if you if you ever want me to play as Ethiopia in Road to 56, please let me know. I'm going to pop it down like I said. Very, very good. And they're done. Great. You guys did a great job. Now, these tank divisions, pretty garbo. Pretty gosh darn garbo. 14 combo with, with literally just one tank, light tank battalion. You guys looking pretty good over here. We're, I'm intentionally keeping this a little bit weak just because, well, these guys... I want them to attack the line like crazy, so I will transfer all the mountain divisions, which is only one, over here, as well as, let's see, you guys, you guys are colonial divisions, 12, ah, 12 combat width is actually not too bad. Uh, go do that, there you go. I want to get these guys up to 24, because these guys are going to get hit pretty hard, so half of you guys, without you, that's seven divisions, good luck, you are going to end up going over here and holding the line behind them, maybe, maybe not, just because... Oh, you guys are still over here, too. Mm. You know what? No. You guys hold the line because you guys will help navally invade up there. So everyone head up, up there. You guys stop doing that. Stop wasting fuel. Head on back up here because that'll be good. And I hope to God we can hopefully successfully invade. Regardless, let's go ahead and train some of our subby boys. That'll be very nice, very nice. Thank you very much. And then we will invade Toulon, Marseille, Mont. Montpellier, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And at least we are justifying now. Taking, oh, the right ascendant in France. This could once again make France, hello. Turkey remilitarizes the straits. Well, it looks like they're probably going to go fascist. Led by Albert Sarrault, huh? The Democratic, let's say A-D-R-I-R-R-R-S, P-R-S, F-R. Okay, then. Mm -mm. Uh, I'll probably just abandon the treaties. I don't I don't really care about that. I banish thee, thank you. I eventually I don't I don't care. I really don't, as you can tell. Um so let's go ahead and set up some of these naval invasions because we will have to land here, circle these guys, and use paratroopers for this as well. Dude, I wanna block off all the Alps, kill these soldiers off, starve them out, put up the front line right in front of Leon, this big old river here, which I'm not sure what it what it is. It's not the sign river, is it? And then have a front line and then pair drop on other places. Now we might go to war with the allies early, that would not be very good. But it is what it is. Alright, so you guys looking good. Uh, we have to invade from Sardinia as well, so. Um, Cagliari, you guys invade. I would just must all. Hopefully they can do that. You eight. You four will have to do the best you possibly can. You eight are also going to invade from Sardinia because this is all one big old ocean tile, which is fine. You guys are just not looking too strong now, are you? One, we had three, so this makes it five. Five. And six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now these guys are going to be the super sacrificial boys. In which we could come to Nice, but that's pretty dangerous. We're going to go right here. There you go. And you guys head on over here if you can't too. Well, whatever. Where are you guys? Leave the League of Nations, not bad. I want to make sure that what we do here is the best we can. Oh, here are the National Spirits too. Victor Emmanuel, a bloated military bureaucracy. We get more daily political power gain. We get less attack and defense, which, which I really want to get rid of as fast as possible. Hurts our land doctrine research speed as well. Lack of powered motors really, really sucks. Uh, excessive Regia Marina budget, which is eh. And restructure of the divisions, which is not bad, of course. Let's go with the backbone of the party. The army and its glorification is what made the Partito Nacional Fascista so powerful. We should continue our policy of glorifying the army and its officers, thus ensuring greater political control. Good. Get more political power, and actually, I'd love to do this stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and go to War Economy. Thank you. 
And anything else here? Ooh, formalized militia formations. No, we kind of good. And actually, naval trees, we cheated on that stuff. Uh, I don't care about foreign influence. We don't need to realize that yet. And we need excavation one. How is Italian East Africa looking? And actually, ooh. Ooh, it's not too bad. Wel welfare proponent, huh? He's building more military factories, the Christmas offensive, and they already lost. Form the Black Lions, which will be good later on. And actually, request forces. No. Request garrison support. How much manpower do they have? Not bad. We could do that, but actually, let's go ahead and use our manpower. We have 81 army XP, so that's not too bad. Italian East Africa, what do you have? View, that's not great, but... Oh, yes. Yes, it has a symbol on there. Good. Uh, make them 20 combat width. Save. Thank you. And just go ahead and use them. There you go. I don't want to use our guys too much. But we're, I'm making a lot of cavalry divisions just because uh, we're going to need to probably snipe VPs as fast as possible. So, basic machine tools. Very good, very good. Let's grab some dispersed output because I like dispersed output. I think it's very nice. Actually, does that give any penalties? Not too much, no, hopefully. Second London Naval Treaty signed. It's very, very good. I want some paratroopers as well, so that'll be good to get. What do we have down here? A balanced approach. More damage garrisons. I don't like that. Order above all... Um, right-wing victory in France. Okay, perhaps I can bring back stability to France for individual rights. Current ruling party is not fascist, so we can't go there. I like chance of strikes to go way down, so that'd be nice. Horses. Um, I'm just going to throw you guys right... Well, really... Yeah, that's fine with me. Just because as soon as we land, we got to just throw those horses down, down the way. And actually, you guys can probably do that... I'm going to make these guys at least 10 combat width. That'd be nice. 10 combat width. Ooh, motorized shock troops. Whoa. Cavalry, thank you. And it's since it this is special, and by special I mean Road to 56, it only costs 4 army XP to change the battalions. And, and I'll let you know, this is... I went with old school Road to 56. Oh boy. Which means that the AI is going to be completely random, weird, and it might piss me off later. Just saying. Because of how random it can really be. So, it is what it is. Hopefully I did not make a bad choice. I might have, though. Infantry, oh, conversion speed bonus, that's not terrible. The next one we probably want to grab, actually, I want to really grab, because I want more political power, anti common in fact. Oh, uh, if you like to read about this, go right ahead. It doesn't matter too much. So, Germany proposes that we sign a pact to address the Comintern's goal of spreading communism worldwide through the use of subversion and violence. By, by signing this pact, we agree to share intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation against this menace. Of course. Cool. I want to get, probably not a smart idea, Giuseppe Bottai. I like getting more political power. It's always nice to get more political power. Good, paratroopers. Now we've made enough cavalry. I'm going to make a lot of paratroopers. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some... Eh, engineers are okay. Let's grab that one, because we can. Maybe we should get some better fighters, too. Alright, so. Uh, paratroopers. <sighs> you know what? We'll do it. I'm going to make them 10 combo. I want them to at least hold themselves just a tiny, tiny bit. Get rid of that. There you go. Only two divisions, huh? Well, that's going to really suck, because I need to have way more of you guys, actually. Hmm. We need more Special Forces Battalions. So that means we've got to raise our cap a little bit. Hey, look, these guys are done. That's not bad, actually. If that's the case, you guys head on over to... If we have more Battalions, we're going to be way out of guns, which is not good. You guys are over there. You know, I'll use you on the front lines. You? Head on over here. There you go. As long as we get two paratroopers, I'm kind of okay with that. Because as long as we can naval invade and encircle these guys, that's the most important thing. This is probably going to go very poorly for us. So France has a lot of manpower. Uh, a couple of divisions. They're guaranteeing the independence of a lot of people. And it's only June, so there's that. And colonial investments. Angered by fresh posturing. If you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. Yeah, I mean, we just gotta move very fast once we land with these guys and then land with these guys. Can I actually throw one more division here as well? No. That sucks. Oh, 150. Not bad. Grab you. And grab you. There you go. Backbone of the party. And next up, we can do that one, but we're gonna go adapt Great War Tactics. Lack of Man Reigns convinced that we can reuse the same tactics that led us to victory in the Great War. We cannot change our minds completely, but we can try to adapt them sufficiently. Not too bad. Well, here we are, everyone. It's October 19th, 1936, and we're doing Focus on Mobilization, in which we should focus our efforts on improving our ability to mobilize soldiers so that we are fully prepared when the conflict arrives, and hopefully we can do well, but 
let us attempt to go right on him. Our soldiers are ready to go, the ships are ready to go. There, we've launched a new invasion, they attack us right there, and... Uh, you know, what happens if we attack over here? Our soldiers aren't, are not very strong at all. And the Poles have been called in because, well, I, I don't know why. I'm not sure why they wanted the Poles in the war, but you know what? If they have only one division over here, we shall gladly take it. How many divisions do they have? Well, up to 104, which is not good for us. But we shall see what happens, and you know what? Launch the paratroopers, we gotta get inside immediately. Okay, we took it. Great! Good, help him out, help him out. Oh, have we... Hello? Uh, that's unusual, but okay. You guys help out down here first, because my goal is to establish a strong front on southern France. That is... Oh, hello. Look at that. Alright, you guys head on in, in there, that'd be good. You guys help out right there, and then you guys, well, you help support the attack. A very strong, united front against these guys. Come on, come on, come on. We almost have it? Oh, come on, we almost had it there. And our subs are trying to help escort our guys all around. You guys are... Well, that's not good. Hmm. Well, I think we've been cut off from these guys. That kind of sucks. Um, I mean, you guys could try to move in there. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, what do we have? No, that's not good. Oh, this... There. Oh, crap, what was that? Uh, that's not great. Could have been a lot worse, though, I suppose. Come on, come on. Well... Who's on the line here? You guys hold... I hate... I'll be honest. I really hate attacking France. Because I, I'm usually unsuccessful. And actually, if you don't know, this is my third attempt doing this. Because it's so gosh darn impossible to do this. Good. Okay, so here we go. All of you guys... Well, come on. Oh my god. Just take it. They can't beat you anymore. They can't even pierce us. Because we've got to make sure we have enough lines around here. we got to get some more fuel as well. That'd be good. I'm not going to trade over the seas for that. Nope. USSR. I love the USSR. Thank you. As well as the Kingdom of Romania. Thank you. I don't want to trade over the seas to so British Malaya. Hello, thank you. The repair troop is under. Get in there, boys. Oh, you, you, there's no excuse for these people not to be here already. Like, that's pathetic. That is stupid. They should have been here immediately. Like, as soon as they won the battle, they should have already been here. Losses thus far. 7,000 versus 16. Not great, but not bad. Ho holy crap. Oh, it's like a heavy cruiser. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, they have a carrier. We sunk a couple more destroyers. Oh, that's nice. We're doing okay. I think the carrier is gone. Oh, it is gone. Nice. It, it, it turned away. Nice. Good job. Uh, you guys hold in. That'd be okay. Oh, look at that naval XD. Holy cow. Convoys were sunk, whatever. So, here's a goal. Oh! There, oh, that's a lot of... That's a, a lot of nice, nice stuff. Alright, so... You... Where are you guys at? There you are. Get over here, and I've got to shift our stuff around a little bit better than this. And I knew they'd be attacking like crazy, so... And actually, they're still probably attacking down here. Maybe, maybe not. What's going on? Oh, we sunk some subs. Nice. Good. Good. Now, they're attacking us a little bit like crazy. So, you guys go up there. You guys head on there. And then you guys head over there. See what you can do. Not bad. We do have repair troopers here, too. So, we could launch more, you know, pair drops. We got that done. That's nice. Dive bombers. Better artillery. Might as well. Oh, we need more fuel, though. Mm. We are literally running on fumes for some of our guys here. All right, there you go. And British Rajrito. More fuel. More, more, more fuel. And Imperial State of Iran. Yes, yes. Anywhere else? No. Yeah. I want to make sure we maximize how much fuel we're actually getting. So, they're still attacking us. They lost 24,000. Obviously, not nearly enough. But we'll see what happens. Spain is on fire. Sorry, Spain. I'm not going to help you out this time. This time on, I should really say. Max that out. I don't care if we can't produce anything. Get these ships done. Focus on mobilization so that helps our defense and we get more manpower. Let's get high command loyalty next. Our efforts to strengthen the ideas of the high command enable us to ensure the latter's unfailing loyalty, which would be good. No, you're not allowed to lose, guys. You're not allowed to lose. Alright, what's going on? Oh, come on. You know, I'm not even going to bother with that. Uh, how are we doing here? They're attacking us like crazy, which is nice, nice, nice. Uh, six subs are gone. That's good. Just don't lose. Does anyone have upgrades? Yes. Uh, let's go. Charismatic. I like that one. We got enough command power. You guys hanging out. And the guys down in Ethiopia hang out. You guys. Oh, you have this. Infantry expert. Yeah, absolutely. So, so far, not bad. These guys looking incredibly weak. Come on, guys. Give me my goods. 
And how many, what are the losses like? 42,000 is not bad. All of our ships are still trained. Do our admirals have anything for us? Oh, hello, subs. Less visibility for, yes. Yes, this will help out our subs quite a lot. And then over here, consume it. Uh, let's do enemy penalty sizes and do that one too since we have it unlocked. I'm going to save the next trade slots for something else for later on. And, oh, that's not good. Oh, wow, what's, what's, go what's going on down here? Oh, we got a pride of the fleet, which is nice. Uh, oh, and you're still doing this stuff, huh? No, 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 no. You gotta be doing this stuff. You gotta be finding them and sinking them. So, not bad. Ooh, we have some... Oh, that's not good. We need more infantry equipment. Well, at least they're attacking. That's good. There's still a lot, I guess. What... So we need, obviously, more guns. We need more fuel. We need a lot more of everything. Now, we have paratroopers. What am I gonna do with my paratroopers? Because they're attacking like crazy. And actually, we're still at war with the Polish, of all people. They've lost 67,000. Um, well, I'm glad they're attacking. I'll put it like that. we got to concentrate our tanks, probably. So, we got to start pushing out of here. Which I think will attack right here. I mean, they are attacking like crazy. Holy cow. Well, that, they're probably using one of the garbage divisions that we usually started with, too. Because if I remember correctly... France starts with a colonial division. I haven't played France in a very long time. Oh, we have a lot of critical power too. Ooh, some reports. Mm. Seize machine tools. Oh, less compliance, more resistance. Istria gets. Hmm. That might not be bad, actually. I, I, that's different. Collect civilian um, aluminum utensils. Interesting. But what else do we have around here? Hmm. Armor. Infantry. Yeah, let's go with that one because we'll be using this quite a bit, so. I think that one looks pretty good. Even more attack and defense, which will help us out a little bit more, which would be very, very nice. Okay, so you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of you guys not giving me what I want. Don't cheap us out. No, oh, okay, come on. If we're going to trade, we're going to get the, the complete amount that we asked for. God dang it. Uh, how are we doing over here? Doing okay. How are our ships? We're mobilizing some more, which is nice. Our ships still need more training. Or more repair, actually. Oh, God. Yeah, look at that. Heavy. Oh, heavy. Oh, heavy. That goes down by 50%. Okay, who can't give me my stuff? You guys are down here again. Well, as long as they don't call it Ethiopia, and we'll be, those guys will be fine. They're taking out North Africa. I don't really care. My goodness. They are attacking like crazy, aren't they? As long as they don't beat us up. And you guys. Infantry expert. Good. Because we'll need that. Did they push in on us at all? Oh, boy. Okay, high command loyalty. Let's grab part of the nation. Military propaganda must be even more extensive. The Italian people must be proud of their army. Must also be convinced that joining it is more than a duty. It is also personal pride. More attack, defense, attack and defense in core territory. Land doctor research speed. Okay, so it looks like they're just trying to exhaust themselves. So, which is not bad. Let's get some more research uh, speed as well. What do we have over here? Yeah, these guys. We we don't have any <laughs> dockyards left for now. All right, so they're going to be busy with that. I wonder if we can attack and do well here. Is it possible? Is it possible? Oh my gosh, they're attacking like crazy. Uh, I would love to see, like, their stockpile, but we don't have anything for intelligence, and I'm not even going to bother with this yet. There's no point even bothering, since we're trying... I'm trying to make as many factories as possible. Oh, we've we've got seven. <sighs> oh, God. Hey, we did pretty well right there, which does shorten our line a little bit more. But... Uh, let's see. Oh, they're looking so weak. Yeah, they're, they've got to be out of guns. Which is fine with me. France, I don't think France is too strong early game. Actually, can we actually get over here and cut off Nice? That would be quite good, would it not? Oh boy. Another sub sunk, which is good, good. Alright, at this point, I need you to do this area as well. And then you guys, I don't want to split you guys up. I really don't. But oh well. Spread the word. Good. And how, I, don't even ask me how I'm going to take out Poland. I have no idea. Oh yeah, that, that's looking pretty thick. At least in terms of... Oh my goodness. What's going on with France? Alright, so they're led by Pierre Etonne Flandin. They're fighting us. Uh, well, they don't have a lot of stability now, do they? This joint government really helps us out. And they do have some war support. Let's see. They got plenty enough uh, manpower. But they don't have that many factories. Alright. I got plenty of fuel, though. Unlike us. 
I could send our guys to attack, but... God dang it, guys. I need you to give me more fuel. I lost another convoy. But we are seeking their convoys as well, which is a good thing. Oh, look at this. Alright, nice. Convoys, convoys. Actually, could you guys maybe attack here, maybe? But then again, by keeping these guys here, they have to send more convoys in, so that's kind of actually pretty nice. Now, could I send all four of you guys right here? Send all, actually, send the Ethiopians and two with them. And then send half of them over here, because I want Nice. And you guys attack into the mountains, which is a god-awful idea. But if we can link up, that'll be worth it. Keep you guys here just in case. And they love attacking me. Come on, we might be able to get them. Oh, they're going to funnel a lot of soldiers in. They've lost a quarter million almost. That's good. Nice. Of course, then again, if I remember correctly, France does not get a lot of political power, especially early on. So we're going to use that to our advantage. Hopefully they won't be able to mobilize, but they will eventually. They definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. I can't believe the Italian fleet is actually doing okay. That doesn't make any sense. But then again, I don't. I, I hate playing Italy usually because they're, they're not very strong. I only like playing strong nations sometimes. <laughs> and again, who doesn't? Oh, actually, you guys get over there. You guys can help out, you know. There you go. Good. Keep it up. They're still attacking. Okay, Rodolfo. Logistics wizard, that'd be probably smart because some of our guys are taking a lot of attrition. Paratroopers are doing a great job. Ad I love adaptable. Next up, we shall choose. Anyone else? No. Good, more subs are gone. More convoys are gone too. Nice. Alright then. We probably need more guns. Yeah, we're still minus 5,000, which actually isn't too bad. Oh, uh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, we got it. We got it. Let them come in. Do not let them escape. Send in the cavalry. Send you guys in too. Oh, oh boy. Okay, so now that we linked up, we can actually send our paratroopers probably to like Paris or something. Like I said earlier, this is literally my third attempt trying this because I've tried different pair drop locations. I've done different things with like the Air Force. I've done different things with the Navy. Well, not too much, too many different things with the Navy, but oh my goodness. So you don't, you guys don't see like how many times sometimes I try this out. That's why I do fade and fade outs because I know sometimes it's just going to be a giant mess. Come on, come on, and we've done it. Awesome. We need more fuel. Holy crap. We could call them in, but now they still have a lot of divisions. They've lost a lot of manpower. How much are they on now? They're still on limited conscription. They still got some manpower left. They still got some manpower. All right, all right. Um. As long as you're not starving, that's probably the main thing. Actually, you could probably convoy these guys over there, too. So at this point, ooh, I want... Well, what am I doing here? You guys are down there. Actually, you might just be able to take these guys out, perhaps. Maybe, maybe not. Um, hmm. You guys are over here, so actually you guys go back over there. You come here, because this will be like special forces, and you guys go right there. Cool. Because I want all of you guys to do this. I have a defensive, complete front line like that. So this way we can concentrate our tanks, and we can use our paratroopers. I want to use my tanks probably to go up to Lyon, maybe? You guys are down there. There you are, tankies. Now if that's the case, uh, we'll probably attack right through here, maybe? Hmm. There's really actually nowhere good to try this. Actually, if anything, just push up north. Take these guys out. There you go. I have a nice little defensive line. U.S. passes... Okay, so they, the U.S. went pretty neutral. That's historical. I remember that one for certain. Um, we probably oh, here we go. It's not going to be a big encirclement, but it's still going to be an encirclement nonetheless. Boom, boom! It's still 1937. Happy New uh, 1937, everyone! Head in there immediately and go that way, and then we'll have to take out this tile. Hopefully, we can make a few encirclements. That'd be nice. Okay, Romania, you suck. Now the Soviet Union is my best buddy. Pride of the nation, more attack, love it. Expand the control, more entrenchment, more defense, reinforce rate. Anti-tank, special forces attack, and capacity multiplier would be nice. Ooh, I would love more civilian factory stuff, colonial investments. I think we have to be, we have to own those st places and we don't own it. Uh, what else do we have around here? Stab in the back? 
Let's just buy all those stuff. Eh, that's okay. Encourage wheat production's okay. So it's all just okay. I don't care about that stuff. So, general equipment modernization. Now let's go with expand the IRA's role. Founded with the aim of saving and constructing and financing the banks and the companies that were bankrupt during the Great Depression. The latter found itself in the position of many Italian banks. They saying control the latter to a larger part of the economy would make it a central element of our economic restructuring in the aftermath of the crisis. Now if we could win here, that would be great. One, two. Head on in. How are we doing down here? Well, we're doing okay. They're trying to sink our stuff. I'm trying to sink them too. So, just World War Two things. All right, if that's a case. You guys are gonna head on in there. Oh, oh no, you can't do that. Okay, that's fine. Paratroopers. I'm gonna actually expand the paratroopers squad that we have here. So actually, you guys go right here if you can. And we'll probably just try to pair drop on there. And circle these few divisions that we do have. Good, good, good. Anything else? Oh, we lost a combo. That's not good. Going on. Ooh, better artillery. That's nice. It is 37, like I said. Let's get some more uh, reinforced rate. Pretty good. Very nice. Followed up with what? How about some of this? Heart attack? More engineer breakthrough and stuff like that? Why not? Uh, are they attacking us in return? No, but they're going to be dying there. Hey! We broke over. Very good. Uh, send in this and this. Uh, actually, what is this tile? It is hill, so I'll send in the mountaineers and the Ethiopians. Good luck. Hopefully, you don't die. Send over the tank just in case, even though it's that. There you go. Are right, you guys over? Here we go. Die, you pieces of garbage. Man, sending paratroopers is so much more fun than using naval invasion sometimes. Just because they're so quick to finish them up. And we did it. Masayal. Very good. A few more divisions. My goal by the end of this episode is to capitulate France. So, we shall see. Obviously, we shall see. So, beautiful. And it seems like we're doing a very good job. As long as they attack your line like crazy, and you attack them before they can be guaranteed by, not America, actually maybe America, but guaranteed before they can do uh, their stuff, or they get guaranteed by the UK. I'm trying to say that. I can't think and play at the same time for some reason. My mind is going, wee, right now. Because after you try this a few times, it gets just like, ugh. Actually, can we maybe try a general attack at this point? I mean, they've lost a lot of guys. But not nearly as much as they really should have. Uh, let's see. Oh, they're out of... Hmm. Hmm. I love it. I love that they have no stability. Yeah, we'll probably try a general attack. And actually, you guys... I mm, I don't want to sacrifice you guys down here. How, how close are they? They're not that close. We might be able to push them out. Maybe. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. At this point, I want everyone over here, perhaps, and just keep attacking, maybe. Paratroopers, you will... Actually, some of you guys are veterans. And actually, can we... I'm thinking about uh, Poland, just, like, literally just launching, every, like, a thousand little two-combat with paratroopers to attack Danzig, but I'm going to save that for the next episode, maybe. Even if we can take them out. If not, Germany's going to take them out, probably, eventually, since they did reform the uh, Rhineland, so... Alright, so over here, I am considering just taking out these guys, but what if we took out these guys? Or we might not have to do that. Maybe. Three. Two. You're not going to spawn in with any of these guys anyways. Go ahead. Go. Grand battle plan. Hey, not bad. Let's go and go with prepared defenses. Very good. Now, obviously, that's not, I'm not trying to speed run this or at, all, at all or anything like that. What I'm just trying to do is get France done as fast as possible. That's my main goal. Come on. Come on. You guys uh, just head on into there. That's fine. And at this point, I can't imagine that we have too many enemy ships around here, but once we finish this area off, then we'll go ahead and start sinking some more of the convoys el elsewhere. Oh, uh, there. Oh, ah, see, now I like that. I like that a lot. Come on. Come on. Force it. Force the attack. Oh, you're, you're just going to die there anyways. Can you guys actually win here, though? That's the main question. Well, this is probably a really bad idea. We're still fighting in the mountains, which sucks, but hey, look at that. Not bad. Oh, we got him. We did get him. We did get him. Let's get these bedwetters. I don't know why I said that, but whatever. More fuel. Oh, wow. We got a lot more political power. I should really, really use that. Okay, so we're going grand battle plan. Yep. We did it. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Next up. Come over here. Get on the line, because I'm going to send you right on in. You guys, I love paratrooping. 
We could do that over there. We might want to try to get to loose, maybe? Mm. It might be best to just go for Paris. I mean, that might be a lot of victory points we can take out. And right now, it doesn't look very good for them now, does it? They've lost 400,000. We've lost not that many comparatively, which is good. I think at this point, I don't think they can do much else against us. Oh, look at that. They, they, they wanted to try something, huh? Alright, so you guys have shown up, which is awesome. Or the lime. Everyone, do this. There you go. Go right on ahead. We'll see you all in Paris very soon. Get ready to launch an attack, because I'm going to sink their booties. Convoy's gone. Any other ships yet? No, we do not. Oh boy, look at that. Sink their subs, sink their subs. No, we can't. Well, we're attacking them quite well. So, anything else going on? The uh, paratroopers ready? Um, these guys get over there. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I'm not sure why the Hindenburg incident. I'm not sure why I have to manually control you to do this, but whatever. Head on over. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's not going to be easy to take. But yeah, you know what I love? I love it when France cannot do anything. Let's see. Civilian factories. Aluminum mills. Actually, if we go down here, we get another research slot. So, general equipment modernization. Our army is still largely equipped with equipment from the Great War. Having only had to fight in colonial conflicts. Research projects to improve our artillery as a priority. And to a lesser extent, our rifles must be put in place. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Tank-wise, what's, what's going on? Why are you guys stopping? we got to get down there immediately. And, well... Actually, no, actually, if we, if we beat the French Republic, we get everyone here. Ooh, that is not bad, my friends. We also come with that sucks. All right, go ahead, and I really want to try and, you know what, do it. The fall of Paris, time will tell if he is right. Another conquest for Italy, how close are... Oh, my gosh, you're so close. Oh, I should have invaded somewhere else. I didn't realize that they didn't have any soldiers there. So, I think it was, like, a update a long time ago, where if you pair dropped, enemies would... Oh, crap, that's not good. That's really not good the AI would like start stationing soldiers in its victory points so oh boy we gotta move 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 force the attack go 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 everyone's forcing attack you gotta move now oh come on oh, oh, we did it we did it the French Republic is gone oh don't tell me we have to capitulate those guys too but here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna do this off screen and I'm gonna go ahead and take all the colonial lands and I'm gonna puppet the rest of France because I don't want to deal with the resistance and we can eventually integrate them later. We get to use their manpower for basically free, just like what we do with Ethiopia. And we might get a few more factories and we can trade for resources. But regardless, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below and I'll see you tomorrow. When we will probably have to figure out how to take out the Polish Republic. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.